Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jazzland Second Life, where I'm all about decor and landscaping in Second Life. And I wanted to do a quick intro to these older videos because I want to show you how I use my CTS wardrobe for my decor and my landscaping items so that I can catalog them and see them all very, very quickly and very find them easily in my inventory. But I didn't want to have to go through setting one up again because you can only have one CTS wardrobe per avatar. So I needed to use my older stuff from when I first got my wardrobe in 2020 in order to show how I bought it, set it up, and all that good kind of stuff and used it for my other items. So if you already have one and you know how to use it, feel free to skip other older ones <laughs> to get straight into the new things that I'm going to show you with landscape and decor. But if you've never used CTS wardrobe, this is a good introduction to it, at least to show you kind of how I use mine and how to get it set up. All right, enjoy and make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, welcome back to my adventure with CTS wardrobe. This is Jazz. And the next thing we need to do is we need to enable RLV. I'm on the Firestorm viewer. If you have the um, the basic Linden Lab Second Life viewer, it doesn't have this feature on it. So you need something, the third party viewer is what they call it, either Firestorm or Catsnip or one of those. But anyway, I'm using Firestorm, so it's my adventure. So this is how it's gonna go. <laughs> All right, I need to I need to go to my preferences. Which where are my preferences? Dun, 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 dun. There they are. Or I could hit Control P and that would work. So in my preferences, I need to go down to Firestorm, and it's going to be this first box that says Allow Remote Scripted Viewer Controls RLVA, and it tells me that it'll be enabled after I re guess what we have to do Ding. take and then I have to restart my viewer so I'm not gonna make y'all sit through that I'll pause the video and I'll come right back <laughs> okay so I've restarted my viewer and now the RLV is turned on so I'm ready to go with that the next thing we have to do is in order for the wardrobe to talk to the viewer you have to have a special folder. Guess what it's called? It's called RLV folder. <laughs> so we're gonna go into inventory. I know, isn't that a genius? We're gonna go into inventory and I need to create an RLV folder. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna make a new folder and then I'm gonna name it. It has to be a pound sign or a hashtag, whatever y'all want to call it. And then you have to put RLV in capital letters. So, whoops. And then it's going to throw it up here at the top. See it? RLV. So there is my RLV folder. And the thing about the RLV folder is we're going to end up moving all of the items in here eventually for things that I want in my wardrobe. And as you can see, it looks like it's not that bad, but if I open one of these, it's like scary. Oh my gosh. So we won't even go there yet, but we're going to end up moving everything that we put in wardrobe into this folder. And one of the things that you kind of have to put some thought into is how are you going to organize your inventory items? And so I've put a lot of thought into it. You guys, I bought this thing in August. What are we in November now? <laughs> So I've had plenty of time to think about it. <laughs> I was a little intimidated, but it's all good. <laughs> so um, I am going to go ahead and make some subfolders in here because I know the basics of how I want to organize my inventory based on how I organize it now. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a little tip on when you make folders. If you notice, 
if you put the little hashtag or pound sign in front, it throws these up at the top, but these are all what we call system folders. And then it starts your regular folders that you make. And if I put the little asterisks or stars next to it, like there's three, there's two, here's one, here's one. Instead of putting it in alphabetical order by the first letter, it puts them up here at the top. So like just in my unpack folder, I'll put little asterisks or little stars next to things to get them to go to the top of a list of folders. Well, then I learned <laughs> through some of these tutorials that there's an actual order to these little symbols. So I'm going to show you that, um, what that order is, because I like my stuff to be in a specific order and not in alphabetical order necessarily. So I'm just going to throw this up here so you can see it real quick because um, I didn't know this and maybe you don't know it either. So let me share what I've learned with you. <laughs> All right. Here is the order of tags. If you're going to use them in front of folders or if you're going to use them in front of things in your wardrobe too, which I've discovered. So if I type in a an exclamation point, at the beginning of a folder name, it's going to put it at the very top. And then if I type in an asterisk or a little star at the beginning of a folder name, it's going to put it underneath that one. So if I want something to be at the top of my folder list and I use an at symbol, and then I also have one of these, the at symbol is going to be after this exclamation point, which this might make a little more sense after I actually show you my folders. But just in case you want to know, this is the order that it'll go in. Anything you do zero through nine, if I put a one, a two, a three, a four, blah, 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 in front of it, then if I have any folders that have this in front of it, this will come afterwards. But anyway, so I just wanted to let you know that because I thought that was pretty interesting because I'm always trying to get stuff in the right order instead of alphabetical order. I want it how I want it. So <laughs> if you're like that, this will help you out. Okay. So let's make some folders. All right, so let's make some folders. Ready, set, go. So I'm gonna right click on this. And the first folder I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put an exclamation point and I'm gonna call it base because I'm gonna put base bodies in there. And you'll figure out what that is later. Like I said, I put a lot of thought into this. And then I'm gonna make another <laughs> folder. <laughs> and we're gonna call that body parts, which is kind of weird, but we're gonna put the pound sign in front of that or a hashtag, hashtag body parts. You can put that on a t-shirt. Okay, and then let's make another one. And this one is gonna be for HUDs and AOs. AO. Ayo, ayo, ayo. That could be a song. Okay. And then we're going to make another one. And this one is going to be saved outfits with the little star. Because it's always good to have saved outfits. I'm just saying. This is what I've learned in my short time here. Another folder. Next one is going to be clothing with a plus mark in front of it. Clothing. Because I got tons of that. And that's where we're going to start with wardrobe. Because. I gotta see what I have. I forget. Shoes. Do shoes with a minus sign because I have lots of those. Boots, y'all. I'm all about the boots right now. And then I'm gonna use some numbers. So the first one is gonna be hair. And the next one is gonna be, what is it gonna be? It's gonna be cosmetics. Cosmetics. I like that word. Cosmetics. I just learned how to uh, wear makeup. So I'm pretty excited about that. Just saying. Third one is going to be accessories because I have lots of those. And then what's our next one? Next one is wearables. And wearables is like, for me, it's all that stuff that you buy that you can hold or, you know, that reses out. And I don't know where to put it exactly. <laughs> so that's wearables. Okay, next one. Next one is, what is the next one? Home decor. Let's have a home decor folder. A home decor. I'm sorry, that's not right. <laughs> home decor. And now, obviously, I'm not gonna wear home decor. 
Although I did wear boxes when I first got here, but that's not the point. I'm not gonna wear my home decor, but I do wanna be able to see it all, so I am gonna put it in my wardrobe to be able to see pictures of everything. Next one is furniture. And you're probably thinking, Jazz, isn't that home decor? Well, in my brain, they're separate. They're separate. Home decor is like clutter, you know, plants, stuff like that. So furniture is furniture. You know, you sit on it, <laughs> you put things on it, that kind of thing. What's the next one? Oh, the next one is going to be buildings. Because, of course, I have buildings like gazebos and houses and cottages and stuff like that and the next one is going to be my gotcha folder because i have learned how to play the gotcha game and i'm kind of addicted to that too but don't tell anybody okay and then what's my next oh my last one it's going to be the little underscore and it's landscaping landscaping folder all right so these are the folders that I'm going to use for right now because all of my inventory and the way I have it um, organized falls into a lot of those categories. So this is what they call first level folders, I do believe. Ta-da! So now we have RLV enabled and I've made my RLV folder I'm getting ready and I've made my other subfolders under that to put all of my 24,528 items in. Okay, maybe not all of them, but most of them. I'm just saying. All right, so that's it for this one. And then next we'll look at, go back to some of the stuff in our wardrobe folder, learn how to use the HUD for this thing and the pose stand for when we take pictures because who doesn't love a picture? I know I love pictures. I know y'all love pictures too. Do you know how to take pictures? I just learned how not too long ago. It's one of my new favorite things. I love sending pictures and taking them, putting them on my Flickr. But anyway, all right, next video. See you guys in a minute. Peace out.